Relative humidity of 30 to 50% is recommended for good health. This is challenging in extreme conditions such as dry heat or too much moisture. A humidifier is used to increase the level of humidity in the air and a dehumidifier reduces the humidity level of the air. A hygrometer can be used to measure the humidity of a particular area to decide whether a humidifier or dehumidifier is required. Dry, itchy skin and chapped lips are common in areas with low humidity. Humidity levels over 50% result in the growth of mold spores, bacteria, and dust mites. 40% humidity is required for musical instruments to prevent finishes from crazing or cracking. A place with higher temperature and high relative humidity needs moisture to be pulled out of the air. Moist air helps the growth of mold dust mites and spores which aggravate allergies and asthma. A dehumidifier removes moisture from air and is suited for this climate. The relative humidity of a particular place is the deciding factor in selecting either a humidifier for dehumidifier. A healthy relative humidity level is 35 to 50 percent. Based on the humidity levels of a room, dehumidifiers and humidifiers help obtain these levels. The flu virus thrives best when humidity is either over 98% or between 0 and 50%. Because of this, Dr. Lindsay Marr, a researcher at Virginia Tech, recommends keeping humidity levels around 50% to give the flu virus the least chance of survival. 1. Mechanical Slash Refrigerative This most common type of dehumidifier works by using a small fan to pull moist air over refrigerated coil. Condensation collects on the coil and drips into a collecting space. These dehumidifiers work best when air temperature is above 65 degrees Fahrenheit, about 19 degrees Celsius, and relative humidity is above 45%. Absorption slash desiccant. Desiccants are materials that absorb moisture easily from the air. In this type of dehumidifier, the desiccant is rotated through the area, usually on a belt, with one end of the system heated to draw the moisture out of the material. Electronic. This type of dehumidifier uses a peltier heat pump to create a cool surface where condensation can extract water vapor from the air. Although this type is quiet, it lacks moving parts, it also has a low efficiency rating. The electronic type is best for small appliances and restricted areas. Under 300 cubic feet, ionic membrane, at a molecular level, water molecules can be removed from the environment, whether liquid or gas. Specialized ionic membranes can help pump water molecules out of dehumidifying or into humidifying a sealed environment. Although no water might be visibly produced, this type of dehumidifier is used for chemical engineering, fuel cells and water filtering. Makeshift, air conditioners, both stand-up and window units, operate much like mechanical slash refrigerative dehumidifiers, especially if they release the accumulated condensation outside the room while adding heat to it. This video by Consumer Reports offers tips on how to select a dehumidifier. Warm mist humidifiers, steam humidifier. This common type simply boils water, releasing steam into the room. Substances such as medical inhalants can be added to the water, along with aromatic or antibacterial compounds. Cool mist humidifiers, wick slash evaporative humidifier. This type uses a wick, usually a type of cloth, that absorbs water from a storage container. A fan then blows over the surface area of the wick, evaporating the water. If the water is cold, it can also serve to lower ambient temperature more quickly, essentially a makeshift air conditioner. Impeller humidifier. Large area misters are most often of this type, creating a fine foggy mist by using a rotating disc to throw water onto a diffuser. The diffusing element smashes the water into tiny droplets and sprays them into the air. Ultrasound humidifier. These humidifiers use a diaphragm, membrane as were solid, vibrating at ultrasonic range. To break down water into tiny droplets, a fan then blows the mist out as a fog. The ultrasonic vibrations are outside the range of human hearing, so this type of humidifier is essentially quiet. Humidifiers and dehumidifiers require regular maintenance. Maintaining a humidifier, used to stilt or demineralize water only in humidifiers. This cuts down on bacteria, molds and buildup in the reservoirs, tanks and filters. Clean the water tank and filter on a regular basis. Water should not be left in the water tank or reservoir for more than a day as this might foster bacteria or molds. After cleaning the water tank or reservoir, make sure to rinse it thoroughly to avoid releasing harmful chemicals. Keep the area near the humidifier dry, as this helps pinpoint possible leaks and cuts down on the potential for fostering bacteria or molds near the unit. Clean the coil and water tank bucket or reservoir on a regular basis. Do not let water stand in the tank for more than a day, as this can allow bacteria or molds to grow. In cold weather, check the call for frost buildup. Frost reduces the efficiency of the dehumidifier. 
The output capacity of a humidifier is measured as gallons of moisture per day. A unit with higher tank capacity needs less frequent refilling. The capacity of dehumidifiers is measured as number of pints of water removed in a 24-hour period. The energy consumption of a humidifier is lesser than that of a dehumidifier, irrespective of energy efficiency. Both these appliances are used under mutually exclusive conditions depending on the requirements. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.